Hi everybody, it's Brooke Harris with TheOpenBox.com and I am bringing you today's thought. I wanted to share the fact that when I've been stuck, which I have been in one area of my life, I found myself thinking all sorts of self-defeating negative things, thinking, will this work? Can I do it? How can I do it? Oh my gosh, it's so great, it's so big, or um, it's not going to work out the way I want. Like all these negative things that only serve to keep me stuck, only serve my fears, and really fears are there to protect you, if you didn't know. They're there to protect you, and it's the craziest thing because they're there to protect you and to keep you stuck. In any case... What, what, um, what I thought about over the last 48 hours was the fact that in other areas of my life, there have been things that I've succeeded at. And so what I really did was I, I really looked at what it was that I succeeded at and what I did in that, um, in that instance. And I found that when I was focused and intentional about what I wanted and how I was going to get there, when I wrote out what I wanted. I'm a big list maker, so I write stuff down. When I wrote it out, when I uh, was very true to myself and what I wanted, and when I had my mind focused on that goal, how to get it, I kept looking back at it at different times, like, oh, let me, um, I'm doing this right, yep, I'm doing this, okay, I'm on track, yada, yada, yada. When I did all of that, I realized recently that that particular thing was something that I actually accomplished and that I succeeded at. And you might be thinking, okay, well, yeah, that's what happens with goals and all that jazz. Yes, for most goals, right? But the point is that when we have times where we're stuck or where we um, are thinking in ways that don't serve our greatest good and for that goal, that other goal that we want, when we have those times, we need to look back at the times where we have succeeded. So if there's an area where we're stuck right now, look back at a time where you weren't stuck and how you got through that and what you did to get through that because those are the times where we can say, wow, I did this. And if I did this over here, then I can do it over here. It might not be the same goal. It might not be the same situation, the same thing, but I still bring myself to it. I still bring my skill set, my values, my beliefs, all those positive things I still bring to this new thing like I did the old thing. And if I can do that with the old thing, I can do that with this thing. So I just wanted to offer that up because it encouraged me (laughs) when I thought about it recently. Like, man, do I really have a reason and a need to be stuck in this area when I've clearly done it before? And in the past, the thing that that I was working on, there was an obstacle there. And every time in life, we're going to have these different obstacles. And they're just a thing to work through or to get over. That's all there is to it. And it's going to be a thing that we're either going to grow into or we're going to learn from. Bottom line. So that is today's thought. Look at the things in your life that you have succeeded at, that you have done well at, no matter what it is, and allow those things um, and and those memories and, and those experiences to guide you into the new things that feel so different for you. I hope you enjoyed this message. Please like it. Please share it. No matter which uh, social media platform you are on, if you want to hear more info and learn more about The Open Box, you can check out our Facebook page. You can check out theopenbox.com. And we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to connect from you. We'd love to connect with you. (laughs) Anyway, that's all for now. See you next time.